Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to guide you step by step on how to install Docker on your VPS. If you're looking to containerize your applications, you're in the right place. Docker allows you to create, deploy, and run applications in containers, which are lightweight and self-sufficient. Installing it on a VPS means you can deploy your containerized apps anywhere in the world. We are going to look at how to install Docker on a Contabo VPS. Contabo has made it easy to install Docker. You can run Docker out of the box. A new server can be pre-installed with the Docker engine on common Linux distributions. Contabo is a popular VPS provider, and Docker is a highly sought-after containerization tool. Let's go step by step on how to install Docker on a Contabo VPS. First you need to purchase a Contabo VPS. Select a VPS according to your requirements. For this demonstration I will go for the Cloud VPS small plan. If you want to get your hands on a Contabo VPS the link is in the description. First, decide on a payment plan, whether to pay monthly, yearly, and so on. Paying yearly will be much cheaper than paying monthly in the long run and there will be no setup fee. These are the specifications you will get for the Contabo small plan. 8GB of RAM, 4 CPU cores, and 1 snapshot. You can go for a higher plan according to what specifications you need. Like I mentioned in the monthly plan you have to pay a setup fee for the VPS, but in the yearly plan you don't have to pay the setup fee. Next select a region near to where you stay. Selecting a server near your region or near the majority of your users is important for a variety of reasons. Lower latency. Proximity often results in lower latency. Latency is the time taken for data to travel from the source e.g. a user's computer to the destination e.g your server and back. Lower latency ensures faster response times, which can be particularly crucial for time-sensitive operations or real-time applications like gaming, stock trading, and video conferencing. Next select the storage type. You can choose either NVMe or SSD for your VPS instance. You can research more know the differences, I will just go for the default. Now it's time to choose the operating system you are going to use for your VPS. In this tutorial, I will go for Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Next enter a root password for your VPS. Make sure you do not forget it. You can leave the rest of the settings at the default and click next if you want to. On the next screen enter your personal details. When done you can click next and go ahead to make a payment. We forgot one crucial step. We needed to go on the apps and panel tab to select Docker so it can be pre-installed on your system. But even if you do not select it you can still install it later. Choose Docker and the operating system version you are going to install it on. Finish entering the details and make a payment. Once your system is set up you will receive an email like this with your login details. When you log into your dashboard you will see an interface like this one where you can manage your VPS machines. When you are on a Windows machine or Ubuntu you can use an SSH client like PuTTY to connect to your VPS machine. I already saved the login details just need to load them. You can do the same to save on time from entering the IP address all the time. Enter the username and password of your system and log in. You can configure your system from this command line, but since I'm on a Linux machine I prefer using the terminal. So let me connect to the VPS machine using the terminal instead. Now, let's make sure Docker was installed. You can use these commands to check. As you can see it says active so Docker was successfully installed. You can also use this command to check the status of the Docker. To exit just press Ctrl then the C key. We are done now let us look at how to install Docker on a DigitalOcean VPS.
you have to buy yourself a VPS from DigitalOcean if you don't have one already. The link is in the video description. Buying and setting up a virtual private server VPS on DigitalOcean is straightforward. DigitalOcean refers to its virtual private servers as droplets. First of all you have to sign up. You can sign up with using your Google account, GitHub or email address. Once registered, you'll be prompted to enter your billing information. DigitalOcean accepts credit cards and some payment services like PayPal. You might also get an option for some free credits as part of promotional offers. Once logged in, you can click on Create a Virtual Machine. Or you can click on the green Create button in the top right corner and select Droplets. Next choose a data center region. It's usually best to choose a data center closest to the majority of your users or your location. Scroll down and choose an image. This is the OS or application stack. For beginners, a standard distribution like Ubuntu is a common choice. So here we'll select Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Next choose a plan. DigitalOcean offers multiple pricing tiers based on CPU, memory, and storage. For small projects, the basic plans might be sufficient. I will go for the $32 per month because we'll be running a number of applications. For authentication, you can choose either a password or SSH key. For added security, using SSH keys is recommended. You still need to set up the root password since you will need it when using SSH to connect to the VPS. Finalize and create. Pick any additional options like backups, give your droplet a host name, and click Create Droplet. The VPS is now being created just wait for a few seconds. The VPS is now created take note of the IP address. This is the IP address of the VPS and you will use it to connect to the VPS using SSH. If you're on Windows, you might use an SSH client like PuTTY to access your droplet. Since I'm on a Linux machine we'll just use the terminal. I'm now logged in. To install Docker on a DigitalOcean VPS commonly referred to as a droplet, you would typically use the standard Docker installation for a Linux-based OS. Run these commands. The installation of Docker is complete. Let us check the version installed by running this command. That's it, folks. You've successfully installed Docker on your VPS. Now you can containerize your applications and deploy them effortlessly. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tutorials.